I'm Ryan Ehlers. I work in the technical department at Marlowe Incorporated, and today we're going to cover the conversion of NXT to NXT2 on the 2900 valve. This also applies to the 2510, 2750, 2850, and also the 3150 and 3900. For the 3150 and 3900 valves, there is additional steps that need to be taken. Those will be reviewed in part two. Before we get started, here is a list of tools that you will need. A small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver or a quarter inch nut driver or a quarter inch socket, a small flathead screwdriver, and a vice grip channel lock plier. We will now do a comparison of the two NXTs here. The one on the right is the newer style. You can notice by the new motor with the circuit board on the drive assembly here. The one on the left here is the old style. That one does not have a circuit board on it. The old style will not work with the new style NXT2s. That will require you to change the whole entire backplate assembly, power head. That's the stainless steel backplate here, forward. Okay, so if you have an old style just like this, this whole power head needs to be replaced with the new NXT power head, NXT2 power head. On the NXT that you see here on the right, this does not require a power head change out to do the conversion. You just need to get the NXT2 conversion kit. These are the steps needed to do the NXT2 conversion on the 2900 valve. First remove the cover. Pull the hinge pin. Remove the cover. Put it aside. Next we remove the old NXT timer. Quarter inch driver. Nut driver. Remove that screw that holds the timer in, and there's two screws on the back. And we'll remove those. Don't lose those screws. We need to reuse those for the new timer that we're going to put on. Now you'll want to remove all your wiring to the NXT timer. Make sure it's unplugged. This is our power wires, our harness wire, and then our lower drive wires. And you'll remove the timer. Next we'll remove the transformer power cable. So there's a ground wire here that's tied to the back plate. We'll remove that screw with the quarter inch drive. Put that aside. And then we'll take our channel locks or our pliers and we'll take, remove this cord grip down below. Pinch it, pull it out. Our transformer is now removed. We need to have that cord grip as well. We're going to use that for the new transformer. We're now going to install the hinge bracket. You notice there's three holes on here. We're going to use the lower two holes and mount it to the two holes on the back plate. Snug it up. Our brackets now mount it. Now we're going to install the power wire for the NXT2. Remember to use your old cord grip off the old transformer. Go ahead and pinch that. Might need a pliers or something to kind of pinch it a little tight so you can get it through that opening. Go ahead and feed it in. Let it 
pop in there. On the back side of the new NXT2, there is a hinge mounting um, location. As you can see on the top here, we have it labeled as 2750, 2815, or the 2850, 2900. And then there's also a lower arrow of where the orientation is, where this hinge pin is going to hit for the 3150 and 3900. We will cover the 3150 and 3900 installation in part two. We're going to now mount the timer. You can see with the arrow, we're going to put it on the bottom side there, matched up with our 2750, 2850, 2900. We're going to push that pin in and lock it into place. We will now remove the plug in the back plate. This is where the push it in through and then just make sure that your timer lines up and snaps into place for fitment. We will now remove the circuit board so we can connect our wire harness and our wire connections. There's two tabs up top. You'll push them in and pull the circuit board out. We will now route our wires through the timer housing. We'll use our power wire. We'll put that on the, on the lower opening here and pull it through. We'll also put our harness for our micro switches through that opening as well. And then the lower drive for the 2900 and 3900 will be routing through the top hole of the timer. We will now connect our wire harnesses up to our circuit board. Go ahead and put the micro switch connection on, your power wire, and then our lower drive connections. Now we have the black and white wires for the lower drive. Those now have um, terminal screws, so you'll need your little screwdriver to make sure these are backed out and either either opening for the wire colors. Go ahead and push it in there. Hold it in. Tighten down your screw. And then we'll install the white one as well. Go ahead and turn that terminal screw in. Snug it up. I tug on them just to make sure I got them in and they're connected okay. If you have a flow meter on the system, you will route that on this bottom portion of the timer. And then go ahead and connect it to your flow meter here with the three, po three points. With all our wires connected, now we'll mount the circuit board on our timer housing. You can see there's two tabs down here. We'll go and set it in place there and then make sure it snaps into place. Go ahead and close your timer, make sure it snaps in place, and then you're ready to power the unit up. Once you got the unit powered up, we'll go ahead and put our cover back on, replace our, our hinge pin. And then you can go ahead and pro start programming it. This completes our 2900 NXT2 timer conversion. 3150 and 3900 NXT2 conversion will be in part two.